Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And once again, Vegan Gains, aka Richard, has made a ludicrous statement in his bravado. And he has stated that even though half Thor Bjornsson, the mountain, aka Thor, aka World's Strongest Man, might be stronger than him that he could beat that ass in a cage match. But he said that Jasmine watched the fight between the Red Viper and the Mountain and won't let him do it after seeing that. So let me go ahead and put on my plus five out of autism and uh, let's talk about this. Now, a bunch of you are going, what? What? He said that? He said that? That's crazy. Are you making this up? And a lot of people are going, Richard's that crazy. He probably really did say that. Those of you who saw my Facebook status the other day over on the Facebook fan page, some people fell for that when I just threw it in the end of a bunch of ludicrous news. Like it was the very last thing that I threw in of just making jokes at different fitness YouTubers. Some people said, well, actually, I think he might have said, I could see him saying that. And we kind of come to a point. We come to a point, and this has to do with my own interactions with, with Richard over the years. I um, mean, this has to do with my observation of the way a lot of people interpret YouTube in the direction it has gone. I think people lose sight of a lot of stuff here. They lose sight of a lot of stuff. They make this misconception that the people you see on YouTube, that what they present to you is always reality. That this is their real opinions, their real views, and they forget that some of the people on YouTube are honest and truthful and everything else. Some people are actually paid actors. And I'm talking about just in our genre. Let's just talk about fitness. There are people who are paid actors who literally their scripts are written for them and companies actually hire them to run a YouTube channel for them and it's not even their own channel, their own idea. They are hired actors to discuss fitness information, right? That are big channels. There are some out there that do that. They are paid actors. It's not even their channel, right? They are there, and some of you guys should be able to figure out who some of them are. Others are just legit people putting out their own information, starting their stuff from home, who are trying to be honest, trying to be straightforward. Others are purely entertainers. And you never know, once people build a following, what's entertainment and what isn't. And I think people lose sight of that. They really and truly do. And I've noticed that over the years of just dealing with, with my own trolls and other people, that I think people out there really and truly do lose sight of there's such a mixed bag on here that people never know what's fiction from reality. They never even know what the rumor is about a YouTuber versus the reality of them. That there will be stories going around and people lose sight of what's real versus what is fiction when dealing with the people on their YouTube screen. Because people have forgotten that this is like a new television. Right? This is a new television. Not everything you see up here is real. But by that same token, it doesn't mean that people aren't necessarily putting out real information or truthful things or giving real displays. A lot of things are really good, useful information. Other things are real displays. Other things are fake. There are fake lifts. There are fake weights. I mean, there are literally YouTubers out there who've been caught lifting actual fake weights. It can't be real. Some have been caught actually using fake plates and the fake plates have been identified. Others have made fake plates. Some people have even edited and faked their lifts. Right? I mean, so I'll give you examples. Alpha Destiny has been caught editing in a way that we know he fake lifts. That isn't even subject to debate. Every serious lifter has looked at it. They know it's, it's, a, it's a provable fact. Same thing with certain guys. Like you see, um, what's his name? Oh, gosh. Brad Castleberry has absolutely been caught based upon the fact that he refused to lift those weights in a public venue. Um, has been caught breaking world records on camera. And they're fake lifts. And he's actually a really strong guy, but he's fake lifts. And then people do legitimate real feats of strength, real powerlifting meets, real strength competitions are actually filmed. Um, so there's a big mix of all this stuff. Even when it comes down to what someone is lifting, there's a big mixed bag of what's reality versus what's fiction. All right, there really is. So I did the satire thing with Richard Why? Why? People say, well, why would you, why did you use that? Because he's an example of someone who... Richard is an entertainer by profession. Richard doesn't lift seriously. He doesn't train seriously. Keep in mind, this is a guy who can't even squat and deadlift. Right? He does large amounts of debates and everything else for show. He puts on an act of being a total sociopath. He's actually called himself a sociopath. And he pulls stunts and everything. But at the end of the day, Richard's just an entertainer. Richard's just an entertainer. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. 
observing that it's an entertainment business for him, and he is essentially an actor. How much of it is real versus how much it is the act? You can't be certain. You can never be certain when dealing with a YouTuber of that. And that's why I would tell people, take that with a grain of salt. Take that as entertainment. Because people who take that seriously, they might be thinking, oh, Richard's a crazy sociopath and he needs to be on a watch list. And then you start wasting police resources calling about a YouTuber. Right? He may not be. He probably isn't. How much of it's an act? I mean, watch the way he conducts debates. He gets involved with debates for people, does silly nonsense and drama and theatrics, and actually is not a good debater, but it draws an audience. He makes money. He pulls stunts. He pulls stunts for publicity that are clearly nonsense that he doesn't believe in. I mean, in the cage fighting thing is one. Um, there's not one single shred of evidence that I'm aware of that Richard has even practiced any form of sparring or martial arts, unless someone knows something that I don't. Um, he might not have ever even been in a fight in his life. He's got a bad knee. He can't do lower body exercises. He's beat up, has bad shoulders. He obviously isn't a fighter. There is no way he is going to step into even an amateur level MMA fight. But he always challenges people to cage matches. Why? Because it's publicity. He does outrageous things to draw publicity, to draw an audience, and it works. It works. He makes money off of it. He draws an audience. People find it interesting. They find it interesting. They find it entertaining, the antics of it. But the truth is, that's all. That's not reality. Just like he pulled the thing of he would challenge me to a cage fight. He, he ran from a cage fight. And someone actually took him up on his offer. Like he'll, he says, I'm just using me. He does this to everybody. It's not just me. It's not like he singles me out. It's all just a game and it's all entertainment. He doesn't even believe this stuff. He doesn't believe he could really beat me in a fight. I, I seriously doubt that he believes that. Right? He doesn't believe that. He doesn't believe that Cali Muscle is stronger. I mean, he pulled that, and actually, I did. I do have a copy of that, and he claims he didn't say that, but I actually have a copy of it. He did say Cali Muscle was stronger than me, and it would just crush me in a cage fight. Um, you know, nonsense like that. He just says those things. But it's just entertainment. I mean, we don't even know that he's actually even a vegan. For all you know, because it's been his shtick, his entertainment, it's the persona he puts forward, he might not even really be serious about veganism. He might be eating meat on the side. You don't know. You don't know. People assume that the persona they're seeing is reality. Because not all of it's clearly not all of it's clearly portrayed that way, and you never know. And that's the thing I would point out. When you're dealing with a lot of this stuff on here on YouTube, you have to remember, yes, this is an entertainment platform. There can be an educational component to it. I do a lot of informative stuff. I put out a lot of stuff that is real legitimate information to the best of my ability. But I do entertainment. You know, I do things that are sometimes shocking and off the wall. This is an entertainment platform at the end of the day. And when you start taking it too seriously, I'm going to say it for the viewers, because I know people get immersed in this. I know people who love my stuff. They get immersed. They love me. I'm their favorite YouTuber. Or I'm their most hated YouTuber. They might hate my guts and think I'm terrible and awful. And you know what? They're all right, because that's their opinion. That's your opinion, but people need to remember this is your opinion of an entertainer. YouTube, at the end of the day, is an entertainment platform. This is no different than when you go watch, you know, Game of Thrones. Okay, it's not as good as Game of Thrones, but, you know, you watch Game of Thrones, and you take it too seriously, and then you get too emotionally attached to fictional characters, and then what happens when your favorite character dies a horrible, awful, senseless death? It's crushing to you in the show, right? But it's not reality, guys. That's just acting. It's just a show. It's just a show. You can't get so emotionally attached to these people. And I know it can be a lot of fun. It can be entertaining. I mean, I'm saying that as a person who literally makes a living off of doing this. And it's pretty decent living. Like, I make a good profit off of it. I'm sure Richard does too. I'm sure Richard makes a six-figure income off of his channel. If he's not, I would be shocked. I would be shocked if he doesn't. I almost can't believe that he doesn't. If he claims otherwise, that's another act. That's also an act that people pull. But it is, guys. This is all entertainment. It's all an act, and you can't take it too seriously. It doesn't mean you can't find some good training programs or some good advice or good information or good tips on building something. Oh, there's a lot of good do-it-yourself and informative stuff. But at the end of the day, this is all entertainment. And everyone up here is a professional entertainer and an actor, ultimately. How much of what they portray on there, how much of it is reality versus an act, it could be anywhere between zero and 100%. And you will never really know. So don't get so caught up 
Don't get so emotionally attached. You know what, guys? Don't get so emotionally attached to any of us up here. It's not healthy. It's not good. And it will distort your, your personal sense of reality. You know, and that's the same thing you take someone like Richard. And people need to remember at the end of the day when he gets inflammatory and people freak out about it, Richard's an entertainer by profession. He makes a living by getting you inflamed. Probably draws a six-figure income by just inflaming people on his antics. And that's fine because it works. He gets an audience. People enjoy it or they hate it or whatever, but it draws attention in. And that's ultimately what this platform is also at the end of the day, guys. It's the entertainment platform. It is in a certain way can be an attention whoring platform because there's profit to be made in that. It's a monetized attention whoring platform. There are people who make millions and millions of dollars off of this. And there are plenty of YouTube millionaires out there at this point. They are there. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.